If you are watching this live, where you're tuning in from, we are webinar style. So don't worry about unmuting yourself or your camera coming on. We are dialed in over here in the Smallwood studio. Okay, so super excited. I'm Christina Smallwood. If you are somehow tuning into this, we are going to be talking all things real. Okay, and honestly, I'm just going to be very frank with you all. I did not, I resisted it. I resisted the reels when they came around, okay? I didn't want to do it. I'm more on the blogger. 2018 was my jam. You could post a picture and a long, you know, blog, basically. That was my jam. But now we are in a different era. We might call it the TikTok era, okay? I'm actually not even really on TikTok. I still am like just too many things. But um, we are going to be talking today about the reels basics, okay? And so I just wanted to take a minute and um, go down a little bit of what you can expect on this class, okay? We're going to be doing an intro to reels, okay? We are going to be talking about transitions. We are going to be talking about picking your audio, finding the audio. I have some tips and tricks for that. We're gonna be talking about visual. A lot of people were asking um, when I took the samples of questions from people, uh, visual, like how do I, you know, what, what do I use for lighting and all that kind of stuff. And then um, texts was the big one. Everyone's like, how do you make the words move on your reels? Um, you know, when it like throws different, you can throw the word or the bro, you know, it flashes up, you can push it down, like all that kind of stuff is all in, um, editing and kind of part of transitions. And then we have photo overlays. So like, how do I take a photo and put it like a sticker on, you know, the reel. Okay. So we're going to be go going over all of that in this, you know, time that we have together, and so basic, the basics of reels are, for those of you who are like, I don't even get it. Is it just a video in the phone? It's actually a new feature. Well, it's not that new, but it's new-ish um, feature on Instagram. And you can create 15 second video clips and set them to music all the way up to, some people have, ha have the unlocked 60 second version. The idea is you're going to create a little moving picture and it could be, you know, promoting your brand. It could be promoting just something funny. It could be um, just being super creative. Um, you might even find, have people already that you follow for different reasons and it's because you like their reels, okay? So um, yes, you all probably have in mind um, hopefully like something that you want to recreate. I know a lot of people use the bookmark feature, which I'll show you guys where that's at on the phone. Um, but basically Instagram reels has its own version of, of TikTok. Okay. And so you can use the reels feature on the explore page and we'll get into that too. That's the, there's a place where you can actually go on your phone to like, just scroll reels. So I am super excited to kind of dive into this. I tend to speak very quickly and move really fast when I'm on calls. So I'm not covering as much and we're just sticking to the basics so that I can really, really get in there and show you exactly um, what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna try to be as descriptive as possible for all of you guys, because I'm, I'm learning, I'm getting better at these, okay? Um, so. Yes, I have, I wanna introduce Miss 
Casey, you guys will see her responding to different questions and things in the chats. And if I look at it, I will be completely distracted. And so I'm actually going to turn off the questions for me so I can't see them. And Casey will be responding appropriately to those. Okay, so we have uh, about 500 people on or almost 500 people on live with us, which is super exciting. I know it's a random time of the day, but I have this availability. So the recording will be shared and it's super exciting. So if you're watching the recording, hi, hello in the future. No, okay, so let's talk about all of this. That was kind of the basics, what it is. It's a feature on Instagram. So it's its own category, okay? Now we are going to be talking about, first and foremost, I'm just gonna show you where to go on the phone <laughs> to, to get to them because they keep changing the, you know, the algorithm or whatever and like the settings. And then people are like, I don't have reels. Where is it on my phone? It used to be here. Now it's not here. Do I have reels? There is a select few people, I will say that um, I know Instagram has some sort of, you know, testing that they're doing and they are trying out different things. So some accounts actually don't have the feature altogether. It is such a bummer. And um, I have um, girls that I work with that have tried putting it on creator account, have tried putting it on professional account, have tried removing it and just being a basic account, and they are still not able to access the feature. And I'm pretty sure it's just something that Instagram's doing to have some sort of analytic or testing. Um, my advice to you, if that is you, is to continue doing the updates every single time there is one and um, just hope that it comes to your phone because um, I understand from talking with different people that it can be kind of frustrating. So unless you wanna create a whole new Instagram just to have the Reels feature, there's no guarantee that it's not like your phone number. I mean, who knows? I don't, I don't know. There's, so, there's a lot I don't know. I'm not claiming to be an expert, but I can teach you how to make a basic Reel, okay? And that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to screen share. Um, how am I doing this? Like this. Here's my phone. Welcome to my phone. This whole aesthetic took me way too, <laughs> way too long to get done. Okay, so we are just gonna open Instagram. Boopity boopity. Oh, there's my friend. Okay. So we have, this is basically what your home screen looks like, right? You've got the plus sign up in the top right corner. We have the bottom of the phone. It has a, a, little, a little home, I call it like home alone. It has a little home alone icon on the bottom left. Then you have a magnifying glass. Then you have a play button in the bottom center. That is our reels. It kind of looks like a director, you know, like little tile cut thing. And then you have a shopping bag because Instagram has a shopping feature. You can just literally click that and shop. And then on the bottom right, it is your icon to either toggle to different accounts that you have. A lot of business owners run multiple accounts or influencers. Um, and that's like your homepage, right? And that's how we get to this screen on our Instagram account. So I call this like the home screen, the profile. Okay. So there's two things that we need to discuss from this page. Okay. So we have, if you want to just scroll reels, and this is what I do, you guys, I say, I'm feeling creative. I have a free, you know, few minutes. What am I going to do? I want to create uh, some reels. And I actually can make them very quickly. I'm at that point, which is why I'm teaching the class. <laughs> so I would go to the play button and just for warning, I don't know what's going to show on here um, because this algorithm is ever changing. This is actually the, you know, you have your, your home screen that'll, <laughs> got a lot of ink. you have your home screen that has like where you can scroll posts, but you'll notice it's a lot of reels, right? Real, real. Real photo, real, and like so. That's just kind of it. Is the algorithm is actually going to show us? Hold on, let me 
can do my audio. I wonder if I can. Probably can't. Okay, well, we're gonna, I didn't, I didn't plan for this, but we're gonna be, well, I guess I can just tap it and I think that makes it go quiet. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I just tapped the bottom center reels button. Okay, and this is where I go when I wanna be creative. Okay, now let's see. Now, Sh Shailene Johnson, okay? I don't even follow her. And here she is, boom, in my feed, the first one, okay? This means that this is a trending audio. And as you can see on the bottom left, do you see where it says, my therapist says, my therapist says, original audio. It's like the only thing moving on the bottom right on the carousel. I don't know if you can see my, my arrow, but it's right here. There's a little tiny white arrow that's pointing up and in, and it's right under where her caption says, I'm not a hoarder, okay? That little tiny arrow means the audio is trending, okay? That is exciting. That's what I'm looking for, okay? I actually just did this audio uh, today because it's trending, it's trending right now. Okay, so that's why I, that's literally what I did. So you can tap on that arrow. Okay, watch. Now I'm opening the audio. Okay, so you can, you can save it if you're like, oh, okay, I really want to do this reel. I'm going to do it, you know, tonight or whatever. Um, you can tap save audio and now it's saved. Or you can just choose to use the audio and that's on the bottom. And then that will bring you to me. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it off me, but that'll bring you to opening and creating a new reel, which we will do. And I will walk you through when we start talking um, transitions, which will be, you know, just in a few minutes. Um, so that is how we get an audio. Okay, let's backtrack real quick. So when we're scrolling through the reels, which is the bottom middle button, you can scroll through different ones. See, this one might be funny, might be good, but it's not a trending audio, so it doesn't capture my attention or my eye. A lot of people base how they do reels based on the sound and what they want to create. Um, others will say, I just want this to be booming as fast as possible. And I want it to be trending and I want to do that. Okay. And that was one of the questions I had, um, was how do you know which audio to use? Typically the more you're scrolling through and saving and bookmarking and stuff based on location, based on interest it is the algorithm is going to customize things for you. Okay. So you're going to get to see different audios. I mean, I could open my husband's phone and it's going to look completely different on his reels, but he's going to have a ton of trending audios and stuff. And they might not ever come to my phone. So it's not like there's, you know, and there's huge trends that come about. Stop the share real quick. There's huge trends that come about where you, um, you know, you know, oh, that's, that's like something big that I got to do or whatever. I recommend jumping on like, a lot of people in the beginning, when you're not working on growing a brand on social media, you might make fun of people for doing that. I remember doing that, but um, this is one of those things where it's like it's only if it's trending and ever, everybody's doing it, it's you're just going to get more exposure because more people are going to be looking through that. And so that's how my brain works as far as reels are concerned. Okay, so let's go back. Let me share the screen again. People can't get on, but I did post the link. So hopefully they can get on. Okay. And then um, let's find one I want to do. Oh, here we go. Another trending one. I already did that one. Um, I did that one. Collection, Justin Davis, my real father. Oh, I haven't done this one. And it's trending, okay? So <laughs> I love the Kardashians. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I love a good Kardashian soundbite. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna do this not creatively. This is all for fundamental purposes, okay? So I'm gonna do this one. 
So I'm actually going to tap use audio on the bottom. I'm not going to save it. I don't save them if I'm doing them right away. Um, okay. And then let's say you have a friend that really, really needs it. Side note, if you have a friend that's like, oh, I can't find it. You can actually tap this little arrow airplane on the top right. That is the, um, the main like sign for sending things on Instagram. So if you ever wanna send someone something and there's an airplane, you can literally just DM it straight to somebody. Um, or you can tap the three dots on all over Instagram, on posts, on reels, on everything. There's, a, there's three dots where you can copy the URL link and you can actually go text it to someone. You could eat, DM it to someone. I mean, you could do whatever you want with the URL link because it will link them back to this place on the interwebs. So don't ever understand how that works, but okay. I'm going to back up a little bit. Bam. Okay. So here I am. Kind of weird, you can probably see me in the top, but I, I guess let me do my, so you can see my phone too. My phone is right here and my ring light. I don't want my, I have my ring light behind my phone to give me like really good light. I'm facing a big window. So that's also like why I have really good light. Okay. So I am gonna do this audio. It's gonna be off because I'm on the Instagram or because I'm you know, connected through a cable, but ultimately you can do multiple options. So you can choose your filters, which you can, some people don't know this, you can toggle to different filters. And these are all, this could be a whole nother class on filters to be honest, but you can do all kinds of things, which is fine. Okay, so everybody understand that? You can all go through, do, 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 do. And of course my phone's like playing when I'm doing this. Okay, so if you want to, let's say back up and do something, you need to set a timer on your thing. Okay, so right here is the little tiny timer. The little tiny timer. My so you is bothering me this morning. So you can select three seconds or 10 seconds. Like pinch almost like going like down here. <laughs> okay. Not to start complaining. Oh, but I, have, I, have a, I have like a pinch almost, almost like going like down here. But I have my new morning. Okay. So we're gonna do the first one. If you guys heard that, it says, my knee was hurting me this morning. And I necessarily can't help you memorizing lines and things. I know people use note cards, but if you notice in the timer, I set the timer. My knee was bothering me this morning. And then I also set it to, My knee was to, to clip me out, to clip out right there. So I don't have to record the whole thing. I actually am stopping it. So I'm just recording this first scene. And this is how now we're getting into transition. So then the next scene, I will get to film completely independent of the first one. Am I losing anybody yet? So we are filming the first part, so so watch. Okay, so I think she said my knee was hurting me, but I'm gonna do it like it's just a voiceover. Bothering me this morning. Okay, so my knee is bothering me. Okay, and then the next one. I have like a pinch almost like going like down here too. Like down here too. Okay. So I'm trimming that one up. Okay. So you can do this two ways. You can set it up like this, or you can always go back and trim later. And I'll show you how to do that because it's one step I think a lot of people don't do. And it makes all the difference in the world with how your reel like actually comes out visually. So now we're doing the second scene, which is I have a pinch going down here or something. Like a pinch almost like going like down here too. Okay, and normally I'd lip it, but I'm not just for the sake of this audio is gonna be all the way off. Okay, so let's, let's just see what this looks like so far, shall we? And you is bothering me this morning. I have like a pinch almost like going like down here too. Okay. My knee is bothering. It's real attractive. 
So you can see kind of what I'm doing and it's kind of splicing it in different scenes and you can pretty much do this with anything. I posted a reel this morning without my hat on and I took the phone and went into my head and then I had it clip out right there. And then I put my hat on and I started spinning and then I started playing it while whilst I'm spinning. And then, so that's how you make those like really fast transitions, but it's actually super simple. So you just have to kind of know what is my objective? What do I want to have happen? You kind of have to have your before and your after. And so it will vary on audio, it will vary on sound, it will vary on the type of transition you do. There's always the ones where you, you know, you can put your hand over and then take it off, which, you know what, I'll do that one. I'll do that one for this, okay? So that way you can kind of see me here and here. Okay, so let's do the timer again. I'm going to start complaining oh, that I God. haven't slept well in three nights. My eye looks so tired in three nights. My eye slept well in three nights. My I haven't slept well in three nights. Okay, so I'm going to do, I haven't slept well in three nights. Boom. And then my eye, right? So I'll show you guys like those two transitions. Okay, so... Start complaining, oh, but I God. haven't slept. Start com oh, but I God. haven't slept. Okay, it's probably not going to be perfect, but that's so that was me. Start, just start complaining, oh, but I God. haven't slept well in three nights. Oh, you said okay. Here we go. Start, just start complaining, oh, but I God. haven't slept well in three nights and see how it ended right when my hand went over it. Okay. And then we're going to start the app, the next one. My eye looked so tired before I was going to go on this. Yeah. Tired before I was going to go on this. Yeah. Okay. So she said glasses. So now I'm going to do that. Now I have the glasses. So I can pull out from, let me cover the camera. I look so tired before I was going to go on this. Yeah. All right. Now let's watch those two. And I'm, and I'm going to show you how to clip it to make it even better and a smooth transition. Amy was bothering me this morning. But I have like a pinch almost like going like down here too. Not to start complaining. Oh, but I God. haven't slept well in three nights. My eye oh, was actually so pretty good. tired before I was born <laughs> off this. My knee was off. <laughs> I've gotten really good at this, but let's say I wasn't. Okay. What I would do is my eye looks so I tired would, before I was born off this. I wish I could turn off the my sound. Eye on looks this. So okay. Not to start complaining, oh, but I God. haven't slept well in three nights. So not you can actually. Oh, I haven't slept well in three nights. Not uh, just start okay, you can, let me stop share real quick. Okay, so you can actually trim each section, okay? The audio is going to play, and I don't know if you can hear me like super well over the audio, but what you can do is you can go back through one, two, three, and four of your clips, and what you can do, and this is what I recommend, is you take off a little bit of the beginning and a little bit of the end, okay? And especially if you put your hand over here and then it's here for a long time and then the next one you start a little late, you can cut out all that time. So it literally looks like bing, bang, bing, boom, right? And so I've got, I, I can't even believe that I got it good on the first shot, but I thought I really didn't think I would. But what we're gonna do is try to go here, okay? So we're gonna do it and I'm gonna show you how to edit each clip. And it'll, again, depend on the audio and all that. But for the sake of this video and showing you the fundamentals, that's what we're doing. Okay. Okay. So you're going to hear the audio, but just I'm going to talk to you and hopefully you can hear me because I can't My see I look so tired. Okay. My knee was bothering me this morning. So I'm, I can cut off. 
Right. That, see how I put my leg down and it looks like I'm done doing the reel. I'm actually going to just clip that off. So I'm trimming it over here and I'm just holding my thumb down and moving this end. My knee was bothering me this morning. My knee was See, it's so me. much better than my me putting my leg down and that makes it more fluid. And my this is, is a step that I see like, and I just like, oh, it would be so perfect if they just edited that one little piece off. So I have like a pinch almost like going like down here. <laughs> so I have like a pinch. So I have to not just start complaining. Oh, but I God. haven't slept well in two, 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 two. Not just start complaining. Oh, but I, God. Complaining. Oh, but I God. haven't slept well. That's good. Three nights, three nights. My eye looked so tired before I was going off to three, three nights. My eye looked so tired. Three nights. My eye looked so tired before I was doing three nights. My eye looked so tired before three nights, three nights, All right, three nights. So my eye looked. Now, let's see how that looks. I edited a little bit of that leg. It might be off on the audio, but again. It's bothering me this morning. I have like a pinch almost like going like down here too. Not to start complaining, oh, but I God. haven't slept well in three nights. My eye looks so tired. <laughs> My knee is bothering me this morning. I actually really like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is add words to it. Okay, and so um, just for fundamental purposes, I'm actually gonna start over, and I'm just gonna do an audio. I'm gonna do no audio because. Um, I don't want it to keep playing and then I feel like that's annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna um, go all the way back and I'm gonna save it as a draft, okay? Forget I can look here. Um, I'm gonna save it as a draft. Okay, so let's just do a regular reel real quick. Um, I'll show you another transition that I like to do. My knee was bothering me oh, this no. morning. Oh no, we need to get that audio. Okay. Nope. We're audio free. I'm just going to be quiet when I do this. And do timer. All right. So now, obviously, I'm going to do some sort of transition. I don't know, but um, let's go back and we're going to edit it now. All right, so the, right. the key to editing these, especially when you're putting something into the camera and then away, is the moment it's blacked out. So literally the second the entire screen is blacked out, that's where you want to edit the, the, the scene, okay? So what we're going to do is, oh, did I go too fast? I think I did that too fast. Okay, so you can go to preview with forward or you can hit the little back button. So if I hit the play button in the center right here, this button means that I want to record the next clip. Okay. And I can set the timer if I want to or whatever. But this button right here means I want to go back and edit. So I'm actually going to um, I'm going to edit. See, okay. So ready, right. And boom. The whole screen is covered. That's when you want to stop that transition. And then it's faster than waiting for your whole, like, you know, the whole hat to hit. That would be too long. You know what I mean? So you want it to be like, boom, right? Okay. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, so now let's see what I can do here. Okay, I'm gonna do the timer again. I'm gonna do three seconds. And what can I do? I guess I can put my hat on do a little spin. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Okay. 
Right. I don't know what that was. Just thinking on the fly. All right. So now let's edit that together. Even though it's obviously the same hat, same outfit. Normally you would change and the whole thing. That was. And so you want to go to like right when it's black again, and you're taking off all that fluff from the intro. You're taking off like the hat moving. And so it's literally the second it's not just your like you want it to be as close to the move the moving away as possible. Okay, so let's let's watch this this uh, situation here. So I'm going to preview. Now, if I was in a different outfit and everything, it'd be like, whoa, that's a crazy transition, but I'm literally just sitting here. And so it's, you know, not as impressive, but if I changed and I do the same exact thing, if that's where you see like, oh my gosh, okay. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple things now. Okay, so do you feel as though Hopefully that was like enough of explaining at least a simple transition. This is not an expert's class. This is the basics, okay? Um, and so now you know how to film multiple clips. You might have to watch this a couple of times. <laughs> you, multiple clips and then how to do one simple transition where you're putting your hand into the camera and then fading away. Okay. And honestly, it could be a party trick, you know, like, now we're gonna add words, okay? So um, earlier today I did, I'll just do this one again. I did hat or no hat, okay? So no hat. And so you type it in. So in the top, I push the little text. See in the top right, there's a little, there's a big A and a little A. In the Instagram app, that is the symbol of text. Um, same as your stories. Um, the squiggly line next to it is draw. The one next to it is stickers. Okay. So you could do, um, you could do gifts. You could say the time for whatever reason you could put captions. Um, and not everyone has the same exact options though. So you might not have captions and then you could do, um, uh, a filter on it. And then I don't love that. And then you could do music, or that's where you pick your audio. Um, you can save it, which is the that is the universal little symbol on Instagram for save the arrow with the line under it, like download. Uh, okay, so but now I have hat, and now I'm gonna or no hat, and now I'm gonna ask people hat. So do you guys see? On the bottom of my screen, where you it says either edit clips or the no H. The no H means that that is this text box. So I can actually tap the no H. And now we're on the timeline of the of the word. So I can watch so i'm going to move it to start right here and then okay so no hat and then now i'm going to have it say hat so i've edited that it's only on the part where there's no hat and then now i'm going to do the text button again so i just hit the same text button okay and this is where it can get confusing for people because you can still see the old words there, but it's actually helpful because then you know the size of it, where it is. So if you just want something to go in its place, you can do that, okay? So hat. So I, I push the type, I have it here. It's the same color, the same style, and I'm going to put it, where I think the other one was. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna move it a little so they're both in the same spot. And now I'm gonna tap, do you see on the bottom now, a new bubble next to no H. Now there's one that says hat. That is signifying this bubble. Okay, so I'm gonna tap the hat. 
the second bubble in on the screen. You see how now it's lit up white. Now we're on the timeline for that caption. So now I'm getting to pick where that caption goes. So I want it to be when I'm wearing the hat, obviously. Hat. Okay. And so you might want to say something else in here, you know, multiple things. So let's say, um, I'm gonna say, help me decide, right? Because anything that asks for an opinion helps your algorithm a little bit more, okay? I see a lot of hands going up. I'm gonna answer a couple, a couple of the questions. Um, so this font, I can change, okay? So I can change it all right here. So I could do different fonts, okay? And when you're opened up in this menu, there's a lot that you can do. So um, let's do something like this, okay? And see how it's kind of dark? You can actually, at the top, you have the lines, which means it's gonna help you in its style or place. So it's either gonna veer to the left, veer middle, or veer right. Um, the toggle button on the far left of the screen that has like a line and a half circle. This makes the font bigger or smaller, which you can also use your fingers to do that as well. Okay. And then um, to edit the word, you just tap on it. See like, so I can see it, but then just to, to edit that help me decide, all I'm doing is tapping on it and now I can edit it. So I can pick a different color. I can pick a different style. I could do whatever I want. So the A with the circle means you're gonna change the font. The color rainbow, which means you're gonna pick the color. So font, color, font color, it's the same button, but just it's the same spot. I don't know why they don't have it in different places, but that'll probably be on the next update. And then the A with the little stars by it means that it has a, um, it's kind of like the shadow of it. Okay. And I'll show you. So each font has a different shadow. So this one, you can change the shadow to it when just by tapping that one button. So you can do no shadow or shadow, okay? The cursive actually, I believe it blinks. I know, I don't know what that one does. Okay, this one is like the text, like the typewriter. So you can do none, shadow, shadow. Um, and it's, you can't customize the color of the shadow and the color of the font, like kind of whatever color you pick, that's the options they give you. You don't, you can't like pick and choose. And then there's this one. And so this is like a little bit more like in the stories training. This one goes from cursive to like big and blocked. Um, people have like a favorite. I, um, I wanna do something like this. Okay, now we're gonna talk about spacing for your words, okay? So you'll notice when I drag this up, a blue line kind of comes in and that's in it. It almost like taps the screen. I don't know how to describe it, but that lets me know that if I were to put it up here, no one's going to be able to really see it that well from like my actual profile because it's not going to show the whole thing. And also there's other words and things that are going to be coming into this space. So what you want to do is keep it all within the blue lines, okay? And so they usually have a blue line on this side. See, it doesn't want me to go too far because certain phones won't be able to see it. So it kind of gives you like a barrier all the way down. And see how it also shows, it shows my, my Instagram handle down here. It shows that, oh, that's where the play button is going to be. That's where the, the comment button, the heart button. So you don't want to put something way over here because then it's under the button. So for aesthetic purposes, you want to keep it in a gent, like not too low and not too high. You want to keep things right around where these like little ghost words 
come up. Okay, so you can make it bigger, smaller, and this shows you right here that it's centered. Okay, so that's like another really great thing too is you try to, you know, you want to make sure it's centered or evenly spaced, any kinds of, um, you know, aesthetically pleasing that you can is good. So kind of like, you know, symmetric or, or whatever. Okay, so I think the reel is ready to rock and roll. Um, now this is the cover, okay? And we're gonna pick the color, the cover of the reel. So you can actually tap that where it says cover. And you, you can add a picture from your camera roll. As you can see on the bottom, there's a plus sign that says add from camera roll. You can totally do that. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I like for people to identify my reel from my feed. So I like it to be actually something from the reel. So I might do though, like where there's no words. Maybe like that, where it's like, you can't see all those white words on there or anything like that. Um, so you could do something like that. Okay, now let's go back and I wanna um, show you guys one more thing, because this was a question I got asked. Okay, if I wanted to add a sticker to this, okay, like a picture from my phone gallery, okay? If you notice, normally on the story, Instagram stories, you tap the, the little happy face, you know, computer guy, whatever this square up in the top, like basically the top middle is. Normally you tap that and then it gives you an option to like add a, picture to your stories but what you have to do is you're going to go to the top right and click the typing right we want to type so i want to be able to have this blue blinking line signifying that i'm going to be typing something okay then i'm going to go to my gosh okay i'm going to go to my photos and i did this on purpose. I'm not like literally this typo. Okay. So I'm going to hold my thumb down and copy my reels guide photo. I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste it. Copy paste. Now this is a sticker. Guess what? I can add it wherever I want. So I could add it just at the end. So now let's see. Yes, so good. Okay. Now let's say I want it to just say that at the end. I'm gonna tap on, okay, hat. I'm gonna tap on hat. See how hat goes all the way to the end? I tapped on hat now on the bottom. See how it's lit up white? And I'm going to drag it so it doesn't end with the reel. And then to help me decide, I'm going to tap on that and see how now that's lit up. And I'm going to have it end in the same spot. Okay, so this is something that is takes a little bit more patience. And there's no like super easy way to do it. Okay, so I want hat and help me decide to end at the same time. So now I am on help me decide because I already picked that hat is ending at a certain point. Now I want help me decide to end at the same time. So I'm going to, right there is where it seems to stop and then it stops. So I'm gonna go back a tiny bit and I'm gonna let go. Let's see if I did it. Sometimes it takes a few tries. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. And I'm going to make it bigger too. Boom. All right. So that's fun. Okay. And then you can pick the cover, right? And so right there, boom, I'm going to do that. And then you can also you can pick to share it to your Instagram feed or not. I say do it. It's 
always better to have it more places. And then um, you can crop profile image which means it shows you how it's gonna look in a square. So you can pick it up, pick it down. Sometimes you have more exciting things going on the bottom. Sometimes you have more exciting things going on the top. You can, you can actually customize it to fit perfectly on your profile, which is really exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna select done. Okay, and then you can tag people in it. So let's say I'm gonna, I always tag like the, the shops that are involved. So I talk like the hat company, the jewelry and the outfit, just so they see it and they're getting notified that I'm doing content with their stuff. Um, you can rename the audio. So I could call this like reels class. Um, and then um, you can pick a location. You could do whatever you want. You can allow it on Facebook, whatever. Okay, I'm not going to post it, but that's basic for that. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way back and I can actually save it as a draft. So let's say, you know, in three weeks from now, I want to, let's say in three weeks from now, I want to do a reel. So, and I want to post that one for whatever reason. I could go and I'm going to hit the plus sign on the top of my feed next to the heart. I'm going to hit the plus. And then I'm gonna hit real, okay? And then I'm gonna pick, I want my draft. So it's down in the bottom corner is my draft, is where I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap the bottom corner and then see how it says recent and then drafts is in a lighter gray. I'm gonna tap drafts, okay? And then I have the most recent one. So then we can edit it. There it is. Right? Okay. So then we have it. I will reselect the cover photo. That, that kind of stuff doesn't save. Like I would have to repick the, um, the cover photo and all that kind of stuff. So that is how you do that. Okay. And then let me see what we're talking about next. Okay. So lighting is super important. You want to, you, you like, I mean, and this goes for social media in general. Like you want to make sure you are well lit. Um, and it's funny because ever since I've gone filter free, like I just literally am like, I'm just not using filters anymore. They take too much time <laughs> picking one, making sure you don't look like you're glowing in the dark. It's dark, you know, it's just, I, I'm just done with it. So Ever since that, I really am all about lighting and I'm all about finding the good light because I could look awful and I'll show, let me show you guys on here why this is super important too. Okay, so I'll share the screen again. Um, someone asked if I um, always save the drafts and you can see I literally had two drafts in there and one was from earlier today. No, I'm not a big draft saver. I post it the second I'm done with it. Like. Unless it's like the company is going to be doing some big announcement and I, I filmed the content before, I, then I save it. But you guys, I know so many people that have, um, I forgot where I was looking. <laughs> I know so many people that have lost all their drafts. And I'm like, I'm just not even trying. I've lost a reel while making it because I was like stressed out and the kids had me going this way and whatever. And I hit the back screen one too many times. And I'm like, oh, there goes my whole reel. So I tend to save during, like throughout the process. So I'll hit that little, that little arrow with the underline. Like if I am getting really good and it's like, I'm getting stressed out or, you know, I get called to go do something or my kids see me or whatever, I'll just save it. I'll save it all together. And um, then I can always upload that as a saved video already with an audio that I know I want. And then I'll save it as draft two. So I have it two places saved in my gallery and in my Instagram drafts because I just know too many people that that's happened too. Um, but no, I'm not big on saving the drafts. I'm really not. Okay, so let me show you guys. What was I gonna show you? Lighting. Oh, lighting. Thank you, Casey. <laughs> oh, Casey, what would I do without you? All right, so. So watch what happens. I have a cold sore right now and I was like, you know what, the show, oh. 
this is going to be kind of hard to do because I have to keep my phone plugged in, but I can, I can still do it. Okay. So the show must go on. Now I'm facing the window. So I have like the best light on my face. Now let's say I start to veer away from the window and away from the light. It's pretty bright in here. I'll take my whole desk with me. If I start going away from the window, well, it's daylight, but you get what I'm saying. This is still okay. I would do something like this. But the goal is always, and I did hair and makeup for weddings forever. And whenever we were going to take a picture of the makeup that we did, we always said, get next to a window and face the window. It's just so much better. And um, I had someone ask me in the, in the question box, she said, um, how do you get such great clarity? And I honestly think with, with this, it has to do with having a newer phone. Um, that's, you know, like super duper clear. Um, I don't use a lot of filters and I think that also makes it clearer. And then, and then internet service. Like if I go somewhere and I don't have that greatest service, my, my video does upload grainy. And same with my stories. So I think it has to do with like a lot of different factors. Um, and so it could just be, you know, getting on a stronger Wi-Fi when you upload them, you know, because if they look clear here, but then when they don't upload clearer, that, that could be the issue too. Um, okay. And so that was basically everything I wanted to cover today. Um, I hope that I think, um, I'm sorry, now I'm looking at the questions and it's like, distracting me, but I'm going to take into consideration, like all the questions that people are asking. I just wanted to do like a, a fun little, like quick intro for those of you guys who feel lost and don't have someone that you can go to, to ask that can help you with something like this. And, um, it was super fun for me to get to open it up and do it for everyone. And oh my gosh, was it really an hour? Wow. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me for an hour. Um, I know a lot of people get into wanting to know like the strategy of it and like what reels should I post when and what time of day and all that kind of stuff. And I actually do have an entire reels strategy um, situation. That's more my strength. Like my strength is more on like marketing strategy, brand building, all that kind of stuff. And um, I am always looking to partner with people and help them get equipped. So like, let's say you happen to be watching this and you don't monetize your social media and you aren't looking to, or you are maybe looking for a way to utilize um, the tools of Instagram. You guys, it's free. Like this is all free. We can actually earn an income from our Instagram. That's how I make my living is doing is working on my phone goes with me wherever I am and that's where I'm working and I used to be a stylist forever and ever and I would work I only made money if I was working in the salon but now the days are it's just so different and so my main passion is helping people do that and so if you loved what you saw today and you were not partnered with somebody or a brand or a company I'd love to chat with you more about what that looks like because I'm a very, very passionate educator, okay? Um, but like I said, my strength is really marketing strategies and brands. I've built two different Instagram platforms, over 140,000 followers each, um, very different niches. And I, I feel very confident um, in helping other people do the same. I have girls with you know, thousands and thousands of followers now that started with 200 and they just follow the simple steps. And, um, it's, it just, it, nothing brings me more joy, honestly, than watching people just own Instagram and start making money from it and empowering themselves for scrolling and feeling worse about yourself, you know? So it's a huge passion of mine. I'd love to chat with you more if you happen to be, you know, watching this recording or here about, you know, what that would look like for you. And, um, it's something that's very serious. I we bought our home because of what I do. Um, we pay all our bills because of what I do. And it, it really can happen for you. Like it really can. So that's it. I'm going to conclude the class. Thank you so much. You guys were wonderful. I will get to the questions. 
Um, please share the news, share. I will be, I will have the recording for anyone that continues to RSVP. We'll get a new link out. It'll all be on my Instagram. So you can direct people there and say, Hey, oh my gosh, you got to do this. Um, I learned so much or she was kind of crazy or whatever you want to say about me. I would appreciate any tags, any feedback, letting people know how valuable you found this because that really makes my, my heart very happy when I'm able to bring value to other people. And um, the recording will be emailed to you the same way you got this called link. Um, and I will, yeah, I'll have more coming soon actually. So stay tuned on my Instagram stories for the next Reels class. And yeah, that's it. All right, I hope you guys, I know it is a lot. Someone just wrote in the comments, I'm definitely going to need the recording. And I know, but, and that's why it's like the hands-on workshops that I get to do are a little bit better. Um, but I do those with my team and like the one-on-one -on -one coaching and stuff where it's like, okay, just come over or like, let's get on and I'll watch you do it. And then I hope you, you know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff. So I am leaving you now for real. I've done this. I don't know how many times, but I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>